Whether they're in the mood or not, the tough guys of the RAMC get on with their strenuous training. Though they're non-combatant, they fight their way through a course of operations as realistic as any on the actual battlefield. The men drop to avoid shell splinters. A casualty post has been fixed up out of a three-ton lorry and a tarpaulin, and a mobile ambulance in the form of a jeep is launched on an improvised boat. Under heavy fire, the floating ambulance is hauled across the river to collect the wounded, and in a little less than no time, it's being rigged up to accommodate four stretchers. Resourcefulness in difficult situations is the keynote of the exercise. The casualties are off to the clearing station across the river. The boat, by the way, is made out of the superstructure of a lorry with a tarpaulin sheet. The floor is just the tailboards. But improvisation doesn't stop there. Three bales of straw wrapped in a tarpaulin sheet make a good raft and ordinary spades good oars. When the RAMC have to use the hard way of getting wounded across the river, one of them first launches his kit wrapped in a waterproof gas cape and then swims across after it with a tow rope. Trees on the banks are linked with ropes and by way of this crude but practical bridge, the stretcher bearers make the crossing. It's the way they have in the RAMC, the tough way in a tough struggle. <laughs> 